our marketing well it's been a long time well i just want to share you something because i am so happy happy because i accomplished something and i'm so grateful because i was able to finish my cluster one and today i'm gonna face another um, learning so sa school namin and i just want to share with you guys that last march 31 i was able to found about education what is education actually who in my entire life i've always uh, it's really important for me to learn new things kasi pag may natututunan kang isang bagay tapos it's like parang wow ang galing pala nito so it's good it makes you more confident it's make you feel like i want to go for more but di ba meron nga tayong covid so hindi naman tayo natatakot na what if tomorrow gising pa ba ako so tomorrow gigisingin pa ba ako ni God or whatever per dito sa video na to actually marami akong gusto i-share pero number one dun is be grateful be grateful kasi like today I am here I am, I am able to create this video for you to remind you or everyone na hindi tayo sa lahat ng bagay nandito sa mundo so Nandito tayo para matuto. Tsaka, alam nyo ba guys, marami sa atin yung parang naghanap ng, syempre, of course, hindi natin mat, hindi natin natanggihin na gusto natin ng pera. Oo, totoo. Pero, the more kasi na nagtitiis ka sa pera or sa mga material things na parang dun ka masasatisfy. Tapos, parang Ayaw mo nang kasama yung family mo, or yung jowawa mo, or yung <laughs> mga taong actually, yun yung magpapasaya sa'yo. Ang inagawa mo, nag-spend time ka ng mga material na bagay, nag-EML ka, nag ch 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 ka lang, o diba? So, dapat sa panahon ngayon, alam mo yung mga bagay na dapat nagpapukukosan mo, katulad ng magpapasalamat sa Diyos kasi di ba nabuhay ka pa alam mo sa panahon ngayon imagine mo ah, share ko lang din sa video na to actually kahit nung bata pa ako si mama mahilig bumili dun sa isang supermarket okay mention ko siya Cabral Bicolandia so yung Cabral Bicolandia na yun pag nakita ko siya it reminds me nung nagtransfer kami dito sa Bicol from Manila so Lagi na lang magpupunta doon si mama. Tapos nandito kami ngayon sa city. Malapit kami doon. And then, last, the other day, yung owner, si Sir Raul, he already passed away. So, can you imagine? He doesn't know about me, pero I know him. I saw him actually. Tapos magkalapit kami, diba? So, parang, wow! Diba? So, even though he doesn't know about me, nakikita ko siya no I, I was inspired by him because no COVID diba so wow they're still open and then I'm going there so for more than 30 years kami namin pinapatronize yung yung supermarket na yun so <laughs> thank you so much and yun so be grateful and then be true to yourself Oh, you know naman na dati, reminded ako, ganyan-ganyan, ba? For me, I'm happy for what I have, and actually, sooner or later, I'm going to, I'm going to have a one product that, let's see if mag-work siya sa akin. So, tandaan nyo na kung gaano kakapal at may pagkakulotch kito, no? So, the content of this video is <laughs> pag-appreciate. So, 
be grateful and be beautiful at the same time. So, in a natural way, actually, I know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, I have an upcoming. Ayun, so, meron ako mga. Mga. So, isa isa muna. Meron akong product na I endorse. And I'm so excited. Kasi, syempre naman, di ba? Makikita mo yun. So, magiging product endorser na me. So, anyways, gusto ko lang matandaan yung pagmukha na to. <laughs> Talaga naman, no? So, yun. Basta, ngayon, sa video na to, the reason why I created this is just be grateful, be happy, di ba? So, huwag kayo mabuhay sa mga material na bagay na Oo, kailangan natin yan. Pero, mas appreciate nyo pa rin yung mga tao na paligid sa inyo na yun yung magpapasaya sa inyo. Diba? So, katulad na sabi ko, may mga bagay din naman na kahit material na bagay yun, syempre magsasaya. Katulad na pagpaparibahan. Hello? Pero, I realize na I'm just going to waste. Oh, imagine mo, magpaparibahan ka. Tapos, after mo magpaparibahan, after one year, actually, more than one year na, tapos nagpakat lang ako ng hair. I realize na, what if I'm going to do something na hindi ko na yung paulit-ulit every year magpaparaban ka. So, something na natural lang, na hindi rin makaka-apekto sa hilo. Ang mahal kaya magpaparaban, 3K, no? So, yun. Tsaka pag uh, maruno kayo, dapat magpahalaga ng mga bagay na Siyempre, di ba, it took time for us lang na pandemic. Hello, di ba? So, ngayon, I want you to think of your life na what if kung hanggang ngayon ka na lang. So, mag-usap tayo ngayon na I'm not saying na paano kung tomorrow, di ba? So, dapat rin tayo mag-isip. You have to do your best ngayon at saka huwag ba nang isipin pa kung ano yung iniisip ng iba sa'yo. Kasi actually, they don't care about you. They are very good in judging of what you are doing. But actually, I learned that as a mommy and student, as a, at the same time, you don't need to please everyone. Diba? Just be true to yourself. At saka, yung gawa ka lang kung ano yung dapat. Ito pa guys, dapat may self-discipline ka. Tapos, dapat marunong ka rin sana umintindi sa mga nasa, I mean, dun sa sinasabi mo. Tapos, ano yung magiging impact? Kasi malay mo, yung tao na yun magpapakamatay na pala. Pero nung dahil sa a little a little bit kind little bit kind of, ki of kindness or a small act of kindness can save people's lives. Diba? Tapos, hindi mo alam. Pero later on, they will approach you. Tapos, they will say, Oh, alam mo ba? Thankful ako sa'yo. Kasi because of you, dapat, gusto ko nang mag-ano nun eh. Pero, you're there. Hindi, you really saved my life. Diba? Ang sarap. Kaya, dapat, minsan ako din, amin mo sa sarili ko na nakakapagsabi din ako ng mga masama. Or, siyempre, hindi naman tayo, hindi naman tayo, perfecto, di ba? So, yun. Dapat sa COVID-19 na ito, marami tayong magtututunan. Be grateful. Be true to your life. Ay, be true to yourself. I mean, so sorry. Tsaka, kunyari, sa video na ito, so, don't not expect na perfect siya. So, ang content naman nito is to share lang. Share ko lang, di ba? So, malay mo, pag-share natin is pwedeng maging inspiration siya, pwede siyang kainisan, or pwede, hmm, huh, dito na naman itong filingera na to. Actually, I'm wondering, and then I'm so happy na may mga taong nakapasaya ako, nakapasaya ko sila, may mga taong naman na nahiinis sila, pero I'm trying to understand what are those things that making them upset with me. So, I'm on that stage, pero I'm not saying that Uy, bati na tayo or whatever. So, see, what you see is what you get. So, for me, I really value my friendship. Kapag friend, sa tingin mong friend kita, tapos okay tayo, 
that's it. So, okay tayo. So, wala tayong, wala tayong, wala tayong dapat pag-awayan or something. And then, at the same time, you really have to value your relationship with either sa parents mo, sa jowawa mo, or sa asawa mo. Kailangan na. You really have to give value. Tsaka para, tsaka at the same time, mag-take rin ng risk. Kasi, minsan sa risk na yun, pag na-overcome mo siya, para siyang mounting, tapos pagpapaba na pa, di ba? Ang tarik-tarik na mounting, tapos pagpapaba na. So, pag na-overcome mo, ang sarap ng feeling. So, building up a way to when you climb up, tapos going down. So, parang lilipad ka nila. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam. So, yun. Be true to yourself. Aside from being grateful ka. At sarap po sinang pakiramdam pagka ganyan. Tapos, at the same time, kung kaya mong tumulong, tumulong ka. So, in this way, creating this video is one way for me to contribute to the community na kung sino mo makakanood ito. Maray mo, wala ka nang ginagawa. Tapos, may YouTube ka. Tapos, napanood mo to. Pero, at least naman, hindi tayo nagkikita ng personal. At least, may watching my video. Para na rin tayo nagkano. Kasi nga, di ba, virtual? Nasa digital era tayo. So, kailangan na kailangan siya. So, through video making, it's my way on how to communicate with you. So, I also encourage you to comment on the section below. Kasi hindi naman siya more on pasikat lang, di ba? So, I also want to, as a founder, founder talaga, founder, you can be anything naman eh, as a founder of Edivision. Edivision kasi when you say, Edivision is a combination word of edu, education and innovation. Why? Because innovation, we know that from before, even before, di ba? Kahit si Sir Rizal, di ba? Sabi niya dun sa, ano niya, poetry niya, education gives luster to motherland. So, importante talaga ang may edukasyon para hindi tayo mamang na mga Pilipino. So, hindi tayo, sorry for the word, tatanga-tanga, para aware din tayo sa atin, di ba? Iba kasi pag hindi ko binabrand yung mga achievement ko, pero I do believe, or siguro iba yung perspective ko in life. Mm, nauna kasi yung exposure ko sa work, and then I was trying to apply dun sa mga big companies. Tapos parang my knowledge is not enough, even though I have my self-confidence, pero may something pang kulang na Kasi company will pay for what you know. So, yun yung naging ano ko sa drive ko, sabi ko, I need to go back to the university. So, syempre, hindi lang sa akin para sa anak ko. I have this feeling na I can do something, not only for myself, for my family, but for the people around me. So, lahat naman tayo may mga purpose. At saka maganda dun, pag nalaman mo na kasi na kung ano yung nagpapasaya sa'yo, patulad dito, sa paggawa ko ng video, masaya ako. So, siguro, I'm talking to my phone right now, pero eventually, after creating this recording, ipapublish ko siya sa YouTube, ay makakapanood. Hopefully, maging helpful siya, di ba? So, that's how I create a value for myself and by creating this video. And then, at the same time, yun, iahapul ko yung innovation, combination word of education and innovation. So, nabanggit ko na kanina about education, how important it is for everyone as a Filipino. So, yun, pag innovation naman kasi, ito yung from something na nag-i-improve ka. Like for us, from traditionally into digitally. Let's say, for example, if before is more on mano-mano na sunalat lang, ngayon, encoded na. Kung before na halos pahirapan pa din, so, naubutan ko ngayon, telepatong telepono, telegrama doon, dito. So, I remember last time, na-experience ko din yung telegrama na yan. Yung when I was like 6 years old or 5 or 6 years old. So, I'm in kindergarten in Manila. Tapos, nag-telegrama yung lola ko, yung sa sa province namin, dito nga sa, ano, sa Kamsor. Then, yun, telegrama doon. So, yun. Pag sinabi yung telegrama nung yung parang emergency, parang sa telegrama yata parang may something doon, tapos emergency siya. So, yung lola ko passed away na that time. 
So, para mga ganyan lang, di ba? Para ang hirap much out before compared ngayon. So, kung gusto mo ng jowa, di ba? Uptam. O pupunta ka lang sa mga sites, di ba? So, ganoon kadali. Kung gusto mo ng learnings, punta ka kay IGGM mo yan, sabi ng professor namin. Uh, so, mention ko sa Sir Bussards ng accounting. So, best din si Sir. So, sabi ni Sir, GMT mo yan during our class last time. I said, ano kaya yung GMT? Yung pala Google mo to. Which is, <laughs> yun yung madalas kong ginagawa. So, one of my best friends, si Google. Yan. Tsaka si YouTube. Siyempre yung mga friends ko or mga supportive friends ko. Although, syempre, hindi naman natin pwede insist. Minsan nakaka-intimidate yung, di ba, wakatulad ko, hindi naman lahat ng tao magustahan ako. Tapos may mga tao naman na parang sarap ko daw kausap. Pero, sabi nila. <laughs> so, yun naman, eh, ewan ko kasi pag totoo ka naman sa sinasabi mo. Tsaka, sa sinasabi mo, so, syempre mag-enjoy yung mga tao. Although may mga gagawin pa ako. So, actually, yung nag-drive sa akin para i-create itong video nito is, I'm so grateful lang talaga. I just want to share this with you. At saka, ako yung taong talagang talkative ako. Pero I know how to stop. I know when to shut my mouth. Yun. <laughs> so, gusto ko lang talaga emphasize na kailangan lang talaga natin live at the moment. Hindi ko naman sinasabi mo wala tayong future na iniisip. Pero, imagine mo, kung meron kang game plan sa buhay mo, tapos biglang bigla ang pandemic, ba diba? So, ang pinaka-best way ko ma-offer sa inyo is be flexible. So, you really need to learn how to adapt in a situation kasi yun yung one of the best skill na maano mo eh. Kasi kung you're going to keep on blaming other people, tapos nagkamali ka, biniblame mo sa iba, you will not grow. Kasi, that's not how life, you should learn. At saka yung doon, hindi lang naman lahat sa academic school mo yan eh, matututunan. You really have to go out of your comfort zone, learn something new, at saka mag-take risk ka. Kasi hindi lang, alam mo ba yung mga uh, expensive things in life? Let's say for an example, ako, when I went to Malaysia, I took risk. So, I, with my parents, uh, permission kasi sham yung time na yun diba then i'm single and then that time i don't have any responsibility yet, responsibility yet so i'm trying to figure out what would be my purpose in life so ngayon what of my pur- one of my pur- one of the one of my purpose in life so eto wala tong edit na etong video na to wala tong edit so i purposely intended this to show you or to tell you na I do, I love editing pero sa video na to wala tong edit edit siguro yung edit nito syempre nag stop stop tapos minsan kailangan kong mag-delete diba? so yun alam ko mag ng mga files para lang mag-create ng ganitong video so yun yun nga lagi na uudot I think pang third time na to no so, education and innovation is a combination of education and innovation. When we say education, it's very important for us because it's a process of training to train yourself. So, by feeding your knowledge through schools like, di ba ang daming subjects niyan? May science, may math, lahat. So, in one word, ang inaamul na to gain knowledge to differentiate yung categories ng knowledge of learning. For example, sa math. More on numbers siya. So, sa science and environment, so, more on, science kasi is more on almost magic. So, diyan na rin papasok yung innovation. That is why I was able to create that innovation. So, how come I was able to come up with that? Through pandemic. See? Pandemic is not really that bad. Actually, may mga bagay na nangyari sa atin na ang bad-bad na. Pero, actually, yun pala yung process of growing up. Ay, yun pala yung process into darkness na parang siyang yung seed na. Di ba may yung seed kapag ka nasa dilim, tapos makikita mo, ano, ay, umano na pala, umusbong na. Di ba may mga ganun? So, life is something like that. And then, we're not so perfect. Tsaka, actually, 
isa yun sa mga tips ko, no? So, dapat, you learn how to control your life. Actually, you can do anything you want. And how? So, you really have to... Mm. You really have to appreciate things and at the same time you really have to believe in God. Believe in God because all things with God kasi all things are possible. So di ba imagine mo yon. So kapag kami ang ng God, so wala nang imposible. Tsaka do what you love. So I love doing video. Hi hi. So Yon and I hope na gusto niyo yung sharing ko and stay tuned. You know why? Kasi nga de ba? Look at my hair. I'm going to endure. So wala kong peke no. So ito document ko din siya and then at the same time. Kasi nga innovation tayo. So we're going to innovate. So yung mga learnings I'm going to share it with you. Oh de ba? So guys. Okay, so learn the things that I'm going to say. I am going to mention now. So be grateful. Important yan. Kasi pag grateful ka, sarap ng pakiramdam mo. Lalo na kay Papa God. Okay, so number two, stay beautiful. Pero humble ka. Diba? Kailangan yan. Tsaka number three, be true to yourself. Hindi mo kailangan mag sugarcoat or something. Diba? So, minsan, arty-arty lang. <laughs> diba? So, and then, enjoy your life. Never, ano, yung sa mga material na bagay. So, enjoy ka lang. Ganun. Tsaka, yun, ano uh, pa pong sasabihin ko, siguro, next time naman. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Bye, bye, bye. I love you all. Stay happy and beautiful. From the bottom of your heart. Bye.